Sarah Bernhardt, entry from the Encyclopedia Britannica of 1910. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Reading by Bologna Times. Sarah Bernhardt, from the Encyclopedia Britannica of 1910. Bernhardt, Sarah, Rosine Bernard, 1845-2, French actress, was born in Paris on the 22nd of October, 1845, of mixed French and Dutch parentage, and of Jewish descent. She was, however, baptized at the age of twelve, and brought up in a convent. At thirteen she entered the Conservatoire where she gained the second prize for tragedy in 1861 and for comedy in 1862. Her debut was made at the Comédie Française on the 11th of August, 1862, in a minor part in Racine's Iphigenie and Olide, without any marked success. Nor did she do much better in burlesque at the Porte saint Martin and Genèse, in 1867 she became a member of the company at the Odeon, where she made her first definite successes as Cordelia in a French translation of King Lear, as the Queen in Victor Hugo's Roy Bla, and above all as Zanetto in François Capi Le Passant, 1869. When peace was restored after the Franco-German War, she left the Odeon for the Comédie Francais, thereby incurring a considerable monetary forfeit. From that time she steadily increased her reputation, two of the most definite steps in her progress being her performance of Phaedre in Racine's play, 1874, and of Doña Sol in Victor Hugo's Hernani, 1877. In 1879 she had a famous season at the Gaiety in London, by this time, her position as the greatest actress of her day was securely established. Her amazing power of emotional acting, the extraordinary realism and pathos of her death scenes, the magnetism of her personality, and the beauty of her voix d'or made the public tolerant of her occasional caprices. She had developed some skill as a sculptor, and exhibited at the Salon at various times between 1876 honorable mention, and 1881. She also exhibited a painting there in 1880. In 1878, she published a prose sketch, Dans les Nuages, Les Impressions de Une Chaise. Her comedy, La Vue, was produced in 1888 at the Odeon without much success. Her relations with the other societaires of the Comédie Française Having become somewhat strained, a crisis arrived in 1880, when, enraged by an unfavorable criticism of her acting, she threw up her position on the day following the first performance of Émile Augier's L'Aventurière. This obliged her to pay a forfeit of £4,000 for breach of contract. Immediately after the rupture, she gave a series of performances in London, relying chiefly upon Scribe and Le Gauvais, Adrien Le Couvrier, and Milhac and Halavez, Fru Fru. These were followed by tours in Denmark, America, and Russia during 1880 and 1881, with La Dame aux Camélias as the principal attraction. In 1882, she married Jacques de Mala, a Greek, in London, but separated from him at the end of the following year. After a fresh triumph in Paris with Sardot's Ferrara at the Vaudeville, she became proprietress of the Port Saint Martin. Jean Richepin's Nana Sahib, 1883, Sardot's Theodora, 1884, and La Tosca, 1887. Jules Barbier's Jeanne d'Arc, 1890, and Sardot and Moreau's Cleopatra, 1890, were among her most conspicuous successes here, where she remained till she became proprietress of the Renaissance Theatre in 1893. 
during those ten years she made several extended tours including visits to america in eighteen eighty six to eighteen eighty seven and eighteen eighty eight to eighteen eighty nine between eighteen ninety one and eighteen ninety three she again visited america north and south australia and the chief european capitals in november eighteen ninety three she opened the renaissance with le roy by jules lemaitre which was followed by sylvestre and marans isale eighteen ninety four sardoz gismonda eighteen ninety four and edmond rostand's la princesse Ion Tain, 1895. In 1895, she also appeared with conspicuous success as Magda in a French translation of Sudermann's Heimat. For the next few years, she visited London almost annually and America in 1896. In that year, she made a success with an adaptation of Alfred de Musset's Lorenzacchio. In Easter week of 1897, she played in a religious drama la samaritaine by rostan in december eighteen ninety six an elaborate fete was organized in paris in her honor and the value of this public recognition of her position at the head of her profession was enhanced by cordial greetings from all parts of the world by this time she had played one hundred and twelve parts thirty-eight of which she had created early in eighteen ninety nine she removed from the renaissance to the theatre de nation a larger house which she opened with a revival of la tosca in the same year she made the bold experiment of a french production of hamlet in which she played the title part she repeated the impersonation in london not long afterwards where she also appeared nineteen o one as the fate-ridden son of napoleon i in rostand's l'aiglon which had been produced in paris the year before of the successful productions of her later years, perhaps none was more remarkable than her impersonation of La Tisbe in Victor Hugo's romantic drama, Angelo, 1905. End of entry, Sarah Bernhardt, from the Encyclopedia Britannica, 1910.